to make adjustments to your sound settings. Let's first use the FNC key to go straight to the settings shortcut. Down here at the bottom, we want to select our setup. And the first thing that shows up is our audio settings. Inside the audio settings, we have an equalizer setting, a sound effect setting, fader balance setting, speaker and crossover setting, as well as time alignment, and below volume offset. So let's get into the equalizer and take a look. Inside the equalizer settings, you have several presets to choose from. Here's your pop, hip hop, R&B, jazz, classical, hard rock, flat, and bass boost. If you'd like to customize your own preset EQs, you have user settings one, two, three, and four to offer you four different EQs to choose from when listening to different types of music. To adjust each EQ setting, you can simply drag your finger across the screen, or you can use the configured buttons here to the right hand side to adjust them in a finite fashion. Whatever box is highlighted, you can make that adjustment there. Down here we have our subwoofer level control, which controls the subwoofer output on the receiver, so you can make finite adjustments to your bass volume levels coming from your subwoofer system. And over off to the right hand side, we have our EQ initialize, which resets the EQ back to flat. If you use all source, this adjustment will make the EQ apply to all sources that you're listening to instead of each separate source input. Let's now take a look at the sound effect options available inside the receiver. This is all set up and EQing done by the DSP built into the receiver. Here you can see you have a loudness option, which is great for listening to music at a low volume, but you still want to hear the details pronounced in the listening environment. So you can adjust this from a low high and an off setting. We also have bass boost, where you can add a little bit of bass to the interior speakers of the car, making up for not having something like a subwoofer installed. If of course you have a woofer, then you'd likely turn bass boost off. Volume Link EQ is set up to boost particular frequencies that are affected by vehicle road noise. So turning this on will make your system sound better when you have a lot of noise in the background. Space Enhancement virtually expands the sound using the internal DSP. You have three settings. You have a small space setting, medium space setting, and a large space setting. By turning on Digital Track Expander, it will improve the lost high range frequencies found on most MP3 recordings, giving you a better fuller sound from a lesser quality recording like an MP3. Another audio improvement for your lower quality MP3s is Sound Response, which will increase the low frequency response in your MP3 recordings. Sound Lift can virtually move a speaker's position from a low position to an audibly higher position in the vehicle. You have three positions to choose from. You have a low setting, a middle setting, and a high setting. Enabling Sound Lift will make it seem as if your speakers are mounted much higher in the vehicle than they actually are. Now let's take a quick look at the fader and balance. Here in the fader balance area, you can adjust the stereo's imaging to the preferred position that you choose. You can use the arrows, or you can simply use the touchscreen to manipulate the cursor around the screen and hit that targeted area. You can also center the targeted area back to the middle by simply pressing the center button. Let's take a look at the speaker and crossover section. Inside here, we can designate what kind of vehicle we're using our installation in, so as an example, let's choose a compact car. Then we can select the area that the speakers are mounted. Let's go with upper door area and go into our speaker select menu. Here we can adjust the size. Let's choose a four by six and we'll move the tweeter to the small position. And then we can adjust our crossover. We can lower our gain we can change the crossover frequency, and we can even increase or decrease the slope of that crossover frequency. And the last adjustment we have is time alignment. Inside of time alignment, you can adjust the listening position to favor the front left, front right, or all front, and you can of course run it to an all position. You can also adjust the timing alignment 
to dial in your distance between your speaker and your listening ear. You can also reset the settings once you've made adjustments in case you get it too far out of whack. You can also control the gain coming from each speaker individually. So you can adjust and fine tune your system for the best listening experience.